Have you never played D&D before? Well, the deadly doom of the dungeons of Duodenum is a brilliant way to try it out. Now, this video isn't meant to be comprehensive. The goal is to give you enough to just get started. So, with that said, here are five things you need to know. Ellipsis, number one, a character. Do you want to make one? Do you not want to make one? Either is cool. We have created an assortment of ready-made options, characters that are there just waiting for you to claim them. Want to build your own? Brilliant. You can do that. We use a tool called D&D &D Beyond. In fact, everyone will be using it. It is a free service that uh, we use for building the characters. Uh, we also use it in the game. It comes with all that you require, including digital dice, which brings us to point two. Number two, dice. If you know anything about D&D, &D, you know that there are dice. So, so many dice. D&D &D Beyond handles dice rolls, so if you're peeved because you have to buy dice, don't. Just don't buy dice. You're okay. But if you want to roll dice, maybe you own your own dice and you love to roll them, that too is all great, cool. You, you, you can do that. And, and that isn't all. If you do not fit into either of those two categories, there are dice apps, there are applications online that allow you to roll dice. You can even type in roll dice to Google and it will roll dice. It is, well, just try it. It's, it's, it's magical. The most important die, that is what they call dice when they aren't in a flock, the most important one is the d20. You want to stab someone, you roll a d20. You want to blast them with a freeze ray, roll a d20. Want to convince an ogre that you think he is more handsome than George Clooney, roll a d20. We will tell you what to do with the other dice when they're required. Again, D&D &D Beyond rolls any kind of die with a click of a button. Number three, the rules. Aren't there a lot of rules? Oh my God, there are so many rules. Ma, there's a crap ton of rules. Yes, yes there are, but you do not need to know them all. All that really matters is that you spend a bit of time learning what your character can do. Can they shoot a crossbow? Can they remove their heads and make it float over to their pal on the other side of the chasm? and? give them a magic potion. That is a thing that can happen. You need to know this stuff. So that said, most of the play will be you saying stuff like, I would like to disguise myself as a, as a, as a princess and seduce that dragon. As your dungeon master, it is my job to, to navigate the mechanics that underpin your cool ideas. I got you. Number four, armor class and hit points. These are two basic ideas that you should really understand before we play. Armor class, or AC, when the acronyms, they're always, you know it's good. Anyway, AC determines how easy or hard it is to be hit or to hit. The higher the AC, the harder it is to hit. Hit points, or HP, are a measure of health. Every time a creature is hit, they receive damage, that damage is subtracted from a creature's hit points. Hit zero hit points and you fall unconscious. Number five, role play. So this is up to you. You can put on a voice or you can use your own. You can wear a hat or an eye patch or not. You can speak for your character or you can describe what you want your character to do. Both are valid ways of playing and we encourage you to participate in whatever way is most fun for you. That said, we recommend that you have a sense of who your character is and how they act. Are they a hothead? Are they a coward? Are they bossy? Are they friendly? Please, please choose character traits that aren't too douchey, right? Like we don't... Deciding to play someone who hates their party and steals their stuff and stabs them whenever they disagree just takes away from other people's fun. So that's it. That's really it. There are other things like spells that add to the complexity. And if you aren't comfortable, it doesn't matter. Go ahead. Choose to be a spellcaster. 
choose something that is complex and ask me questions. I am here to help you. I'll make sure you have fun. Choose or create your character as soon as you can. If you would like some help creating your character, we've actually made a video that walks you through the process. The link is in the description. Here's hoping we see you between November 25th and December 5th in the deadly doom of the dungeons of Duodenum.